Welcome back to another AQ3D video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you my bank. Ever since the inventory revamp, I was wanting to reorganize my bank, which I finally did. Took a long time, but I wanted to showcase it in this video. And if you guys enjoy this one, do me a favor and tap that like button, smash the subscribe, and hit the notification if you want to stay up to date with all of my content. So in the first vault, this is my consumable section. So starting at the very bottom, I have a few legacy items like the dragon note ultra rare this item is now rare ultra rare and the writing magically changes it reads that dotty at the camp she is not innocent not innocent at all and that's referring to dotty from the camp gonna get you but the writing on this does not magically change the devs need to manually change it which they obviously haven't done since like 2017 or something so but anyways it's still kind of nice to have a legacy note thing and then you the coal i got this back in 2016 but this is a seasonal thing you get there's really no reason at all for having it but maybe who knows maybe someday there'll be a reason to have it traveler's pack this is more of a meme thing because it was just a picture of a backpack back in the day this is like 2017 or something where the traveler's backpack was one of the rarest items in the game at the time very very hard to obtain so this was put in the game as a joke but it's a legacy item no longer available these are two different things that we'd gotten when Battleon was being invaded. And this is during the whole Ashfall thing where they had Battleon was going to be invaded by Ashfall related creatures. And so these were notes that are legacy notes, no longer available. This is, I don't even really need this anymore. It's for a quest, but I've already beat it. So, and then this is just a Saladin thing. This is another legacy item. This is for the 2022, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 2022 summer collection. This was just in the shop waiting for a mysterious swimsuit that was going to be appearing in the next week 20th anniversary note just to mention the 20th anniversary this is a pax convention ticket which is just something that you would have it was in relation to the 2023 pax thing scrap of dark parchment which i recently did a thing on these are two bombs which you can use for blowing up and accessing a secret area in ashfall got these two things which are related to the azercrest island my potions now this this one here see because originally potions only stacked to 999 but this was there was glitches involved and i was able to stack this way higher than 999 bunch of those things in a a few more consumables in here is hardly anything but this is where i used to keep all of my craftable stuff so basically anything that would be used as an ingredient would be found in here i got rid of 99.9 .9 of my ingredients because they took up so much room and hadn't been used in years decided to keep some of the ones that are going to be obviously reusable and then these are all my cosmetic stuff like trails or auras things like that there's quite a few options to choose from so i put those all in one vault my fourth vault this is for the trade skills right now of course there's only fishing might only be the trade skill we ever get but so this is all fishing related stuff in my fifth these are miscellaneous non swords but they are melee weapons these are melee weapons that are not swords so they're either axes or scythes or something like that but they are not swords and then in here this is another non sword stuff oh this is interesting because this is one of the weapons that is still in the game but this is the melee version of it the current one that's in the game is actually a bow an actual bow whereas in this is a melee version so i believe this is now legacy but i don't know and then this is just a runoff of this vault basically in the seventh vault these are the runoff weapons the swords basically so everything in here are all swords and then in the eighth vault this is full which is why this is the runoff for that and then this one which is almost full so the runoff is in here and these are all swords some of them are legacy as well but there's a lot of different swords in my ninth are bows i don't have that many bows really not not as many bows as i would like to have but yeah so those are the bow collection and then i have 
in number 10 are my guns. And I have quite a selection of guns. I would like to have more because these are my favorite weapons are all the guns that I have. But there is quite a variety there. Number 11, this will be for helmets because my 12th is helmets. But as you can see, I'm at 50 out of 60. So eventually this will get full. So I decided that I would fill up two different vaults just for the helmets. I like these Corin bags. It's too bad that they don't do these anymore. On the AE Federation, we do periodically once in a while do small contests or giveaways in relation to these, but these used to be given via streams that Corin used to do on Twitch. And then every month there would be a new bag available. Like this was, I believe for February. And then you had this one, which was for December and this one, which was for October. So a lot of different ones. This is a legacy item. Actually it looks exactly the same as the necromancer hood that's in the game, except that these do not have glowing eyes. In my 13th, these are the non cape back pieces. So, uh, well, this is technically a cape but it's not a normal cape, which is why it's in here. So everything else that's in here is non capes. They're either wings or other things that aren't capes, flags and whatnot. And then in my 14th, these are where you will find the actual capes that are like normal capes for the most part. Now you do have a few capes like this, but they're still very cape ish, which is why they're in here. So everything else in here actually, these are not supposed to be in here. These are not capes. There we go. So 15th, these are my Legion things. These are all Legion related stuff. And this might look a little unusual, but I set up everything in order. So this is my Legion Technic Techno Knight armor set. Then I've got my Vindicator. So what I did to organize this was I put in because now things go in based in order. You can put them in in order. And so what I did was I put the helms in first with the armors next with the cape, shoulders, belt, gloves, boots. And then if I have a weapon, I would also put a weapon as well. If the weapon went with a set, I do have a few that go with a set, but that's how I organized the armor sets in here. So you'll notice there is a flow. This is my second vault of legion related armor sets and then in my 17th vault these are weapons these are legion related weapons so if they are legion inspired then they would be found in this vault i got rid of a lot of them because i can just go into the collections in the Dej collections and grab them out if I need them. But these are all the ones I would use. And these are my, this is what I call my dark sets are these. So given an example, this is my rotten rabbit head morph, which is goes with this armor set and then the rest of the pieces. And then I have my Daywalker armor set that goes with these weapons. And then I have my dark ghoulish gourd. I was wearing that in one of my previous videos, my quantum armor set, my ninja and wolfling. So they're all dark. And then in my 19th, it's the same thing, other dark related things. So again, it's the same format as I showed in my previous, where I put my helm in first, my armor, my cape, my shoulders, belt, gloves, and boots and weapon. If I need it, this is actually, this is the exact setup right here. Helm, armor, cape, shoulders, belt, gloves, boots, and weapon. And that's how I organized all of my armor sets to be like that. So I've got the undead, the alter ego, the dark beta berserker, and then the black and stuff. So anyways, yeah, lots of other ones in there. For my 20th vault, this is all not really sure how to describe it. It's a bit miscellaneous, but these are related to guardian or alpha stuff. In my 21st vault, this is my red vault which so everything in here would be red related this is my legendary oni set and then i have the blood guard armor set the blood of nolgath armor set which i like the blood go blood of nolgath and then this armor set which is the legendary necromancer with the ally look at that 
Twilly. So funny. My hollowed armor set. I mean, this is technically not really red, but because it has red on it, I decided not to put it in with my dark category. I put it in with this instead. And then I got my debris armor set. And yeah, so that's all red related. And this is my next, my second red related. I have my mosh mage armor set, my corrupt. Well, actually, the corrupted isn't really that red, to be honest, because it's, I'll give an example. That does, there's not really much red on that, but because it goes with this, which does have dark red, I decided to throw it into my red armor set, so that's in there. My 23rd, these are all green related. Now, this is guardian armor, but I put it in with the green stuff, so this is basically all my green armor sets, which is like that. My dragon nair, my mosh pit, and my vector armor set. And then in my 24th, these are all, I don't know. I think these are Halloween. Oh, no, no. These were the miscellaneous, the bright colored ones. Mis very miscellaneous. So I have the purple armor set. This is a, I don't even know what color, orange, I guess. Kind of orange, goldy, blacky. And then my purple armor set. And my corrupted paladin, which is kind of an orange. And then that's orange as well. So it's very random one for the 25th these are my future or tech related stuff so i have battletron defender which is a very futuristic armor set and then i also have the tech runners as well which is also very futuristic looking and then there's also the eclipse which i mean it's not really futuristic looking but it's very very unusual so i just put it in with the futuristic for the 26 these are my morphs the anamorph stuff so because all of these armors are actual character like creatures so, so you get the clogra you have the bunny berserker because of the helm so it's a animal morph and then the cyber wolf which is kind of a morph which is why i decided to put it in with the animals and the buns and the gold buns so anything that's going to be a considered a morph you know like an actual thing then i put it in there 27 this is the i believe fro oh no this is a blue this is one of the blue ones so i have my moglomancer z armor set and then my frostlorn titan armor set and if you guys are interested in checking out my arm if you want to see me with my armor sets on let me know when i can make another video in regards to that this is more or less just running through the different ones these are my brown i only have two brown so it's an entire vault dedicated to the color brown but this is the merchant of death and then i have the undead necromancer so i don't have very many brown because i'm not a huge color a fan of that color these i don't even know these are the gold i believe yes this is the gold vault so everything in here has some tinge of gold because there's gold on that armor set and of course then the golden armor set i don't think i have a helm no i don't have a helm for that at all and then there's the dire wolf ones and i don't even are these gold oh yeah i guess those are gold too so that's why they're there the 30th this is a literally just a random vault it has a little bit of everything in it from armors to belts to shoulders and whatnot no helms oh, actually that's i forget it has a helm but otherwise very few helms most of them do not go in here they're all in actually this should probably not be in there this should go into the helms vault but yeah, 30 is just miscellaneous stuff. 31 is more red, I believe, or is this? No, no, this is the Nolgath related stuff. So if it doesn't fit into an actual category, then like color category, then it would go into here. And this is what this one is, the Nolgath related one. 32 is blank, 33 blank, 34 blank, and 35 blank. So I got rid of, I would say, probably 30% of what I had in the bank, I got rid of, either sold or dropped, and organized my bank using primarily things I know I'm going to use, minus, of course, what's in the 30 
vault. Those are just collectible stuff that I want to keep in case I find good sets that go with the stuff in here. Yeah, that's my vault. So what do you guys think of the organization that I have done with the bank? How do you organize your banks? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.